So we wondered if Grand Sleen would be able to mm -hmm. handle that West Rusk offense. Mm -hmm. it, early on, it looked like they would not. But it's an impressive way to, to fight back, come back, keep this game close. Absolutely. I mean, the way to, way to beat West Russ is just keep scoring because West Russ is going to score. And in Mata, yeah. I mean, one of the most dangerous quarterbacks in the region. But, I mean, hey, good matchup. You know, 10-point game, five minutes left. I'm very excited to see where it ends. Yeah, that's why that was our game of the week. Absolutely. Well, our mobile site game. You know, mm -hmm. we do the kickoff show from somewhere every week. Well, it was a Friday Night Lights tribute to the past so that we don't forget how far we've come. The Gladewater Bears honoring the Weldon Bubble Bees by wearing their uniforms and playing in their honor. Now, Weldon was the city's all-black high school football team before Gladewater ISD desegregated back in 1969. So, the Gladewater Alumni Association held a special tribute before tonight's big game where family members and former players were in attendance to honor them. Now, before the game, the game ball was given to William Hawley, the last living Bumblebee coach who left Gladewater back in 1967 and came all the way from California to attend tonight. There were even people there from the class of 1959. But what got me was the memorabilia from the late Gladewater mayor and former Bumblebee coach Derek Walter, whose grandson and great-grandson shared with us an item passed down from generation to generation. Well, this is a original 1948 jersey, um, Weldon Bumblebees. My grandfather actually wore this uh, his senior year as quarterback uh, for the Bees. You know, sometimes we always say we need to learn history so it doesn't repeat itself. Well, tonight we're actually trying to uh, repeat it because um, that season, they had a great season. I believe they were a state semifinalist uh, in the Prairie View League, which is uh, now currently the uh, our UIL system. Um, so it's, it's it's just really great to be a, a Gladewater Bear and a Weld and Bumblebee. Now, this was just the inaugural tribute. The Bears plan to do this every season from now on. So let's get to the game. Gladewater, or shall we call them Weldon, hosting Sabine and those Bumblebee jerseys looking nice to prepare for kickoff. So we'll add it to the highlights. Onside kick for the Bumblebees, and Colin Lewis comes up with it. Bumblebees get it back to start the game. Very next play, Kyron Wilson sends it to Lewis in the flat. Excuse me, ref. He cuts in, then back out to the sideline, and my goodness, he is gone, Lewis. Puts the Bumblebees up seven immediately. And you already know, he had to come back for the camera. Sabine would stall out, though, in the very next drive. Back to the Bumblebees. Lewis now behind center. Takes the snap, gets a nice block outside. Cuts inside, and will he do it again? Somebody please tell the Cardinals to stop arm tackling this man. This is unfair. Off to the races, and no one is close. My goodness. Extra points no good, but Bumblebees up 13. Zip. But now it's Sabine's chance. Grayson Hicks in at quarterback. He's going to take the snap, then looks outside to his left, connects with Caden Fortson. Fortson anticipates the contact and still gets to the two-yard line. Well, that play is going to set this one up. Direct snap to Riley Royce, who gets the easy score. Bumblebees lead cut down 13-7. But the Bumblebees just relentless. At the goal line, handoff to Devontae Powers. Gladewater up 19-7. And they go on to win it all, 22-13. Shout out to Gladewater. This was an emotional night for the team. Both of these teams winless in district. And, uh, yeah, they came out and got the dub against Sabine.